guys. So I just got done with day three of Insanity Max 30, like literally just got done two minutes ago. Again, I'm kind of keeping this videos the same throughout. Um, it, today was Friday fight round one and the lighting is kind of crazy and actually this is ridiculous. I am so tired from this workout. You still hear me breathing heavy. I took notes because I'm that tired because I want to kind of talk about what was going through my mind and I'm using studio lighting because the room that I did my workout in was way too dark and the video would have been horrible. So I'm sitting in front of a bright light. I'm even hotter. You can kind of see the sweat on my body glistening. Um, yeah, but talking about thoughts and writing them down on, I have my notes on my iPad. Um, programs like these are so funny because I am not a huge cardio person. In fact, I pretty much hate cardio because I have a really hard time breathing, as you can probably tell just from videos. And um, I just, I tire really quickly. And so I don't like cardio, but at the same time, when I try to do slower programs, I get really bored and really unfocused and I start thinking of what needs to be done and what I could be doing and all these things. Programs like these are crazy because I cannot think of anything except for the workout. The whole time my mind is thinking, but I'm not thinking of anything besides the workout. So like, at one point Shanti said, oh my god, this is crazy. And I was like, oh my god, that's exactly what I was just saying in my mind. Like I was doing the workout thinking, this is just crazy. This is ridiculous. This is cruel and unusual punishment. I mean, it is. This workout is tough. Today was probably the hardest day so far. I thought that Monday was the hardest day so far because yesterday wasn't too bad. But today, I think, was the hardest day because my calves are so sore. Like, I think sore than any muscle has ever been in my body, including when I did Insanity. And I think that has to do with, you know, I took basically a month, almost probably a month and a half off of workouts. And then I jumped back into this workout, which is really difficult. And there is a lot of things that you kind of do quick feet. So that usually means on the balls of your feet, you're moving, jumping really quick, jacks, all that kind of stuff. And yesterday, I volunteered at my daughter's school. I did like a Christmas store thing where the kids can come and shop for their family. And I thought I was just going to be kind of walking around the classroom, like guiding the kids, helping them pick presents. And it turned out that I was walking them around the big, big it was a big room, walking them around that room, walking them to a different room to get their stuff wrapped, walking them downstairs to their classroom, picking new kids, bringing them upstairs to the classroom. And I was doing that. I was supposed to be there for two hours and instead was there for four hours. So I was wearing five inch heels. So not only are my legs just exhausted from starting a new workout again, my calves were in five inch heels for four hours walking around, walking up and down stairs. And just, it's just insane. So um, another thought, which look, I know a lot about fitness. I know a lot about nutrition. I've worked out for a long time. I've done these programs for a long time. But I am not a professional, I'm not an expert, I'm not a genius by far. Um, so if you guys have any input to this, it would be greatly appreciated. I find that with most workouts, I find that by the 20 minute mark, the past two days I talked about kind of 22 and 24 minutes, but around the 20 minute mark, I start becoming like exhausted, like not even like this workout is hard, I'm tired, but like my body, I feel like it starts to shut down on me. And I I get to a point where I'm just dizzy. Like if I close my eyes and try to relax, I'm about to fall and hit my head on the ground. Um, and I think I may know what causes it. Um, I don't drink during any workout ever. <laughs> Because when I drink, I have a really, really sensitive stomach. I suffer from severe IBS. So when I drink, I get so sick when I get back into a workout. Like even if I have the tiniest bit of water, I become so sick and the rest of the workout, I just feel like I'm needing to throw up the entire time and I get sicker and sicker and sicker the longer I go. So I just avoid water during the workout. Now I do drink a ton of water beforehand and immediately after, about two glasses about this big before and after. And I also um, eat foods high in protein, I eat fruit afterwards. So. My nutrition I know is on point. I'm eating enough food, I'm eating good food. I'm just not sure what I can do to push through that 20 minute mark. So if anybody has any input, I would be so appreciative to hear it. Um, and then I guess the last note I kind of took was that 
I have a puppy. Well, she's uh, she's over here eating a pillow right now. I have a nine month old bull mastiff puppy. So she is my like world. She loves me. She's attached to me. And it's almost like she knew today was a super tough workout because I'll try to insert a picture, but she stood in front of me the entire time just looking straight at me. And anytime I came down to her level, like if I did any kind of push up or tricep dip, she would just kiss me. She'd kiss my face. Like she knew I was struggling. So I thought that was really cute. But yeah, day three is in the books. Um, I believe, I haven't looked at the schedule for sure, but I know it's five days a week. So I am actually leaving today to go on vacation. So I do have the next two days off, which may be good, may be bad, <laughs> because I'll get time to kind of heal. But then I've also only been at it three days, so it might be harder to jump back in at Monday. But I am going to take the break, and I'm going to stick to my nutrition. And then Monday, I'll be back to doing my workout and filming day four of the workout and yeah I think that's all I have these are getting way longer than I wanted them to be but if you guys have any questions so far leave them down below I'd be happy to answer them hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you later bye